Hello everyone, this is The Commander, and I just watched episode 4 of season 2 of The Mandalorian. This sadly means we're about halfway done with the, the season already. The, the Mandalorian seasons are quite short, but this was a pretty good episode. It was about the same length as last episode, clocking in at 38 minutes, and I'll start summarizing it now. So we started out where the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda are in the Razor Crest that had all the damage, and Mando asks Baby Yoda to put these wires in the right spot, and the child cannot do it, and he puts the two together and forms an electric zap, and they, Mando's like, oh, we're never going to make it to Corvus in this shape. Let's go visit some old friends for repair. So then it cuts to Navarro in some kind of interior of some kind of building where we have these aqualish and the aqualish are the same species of Panda Baba, the alien that gets its, his arm cut off and a new hope. So yeah, we've got some aqualish, probably some kind of criminal gain from the looks of it and we have Cara Dune fighting off these aliens to get the materials that they have. So after that we learn a few new things about what's been happening at Navarro. We learn that Cara Dune is the marshal of Navarro which is pretty cool. We've had two marshals of some kind of town. The other one was Cobb Vanth, obviously. And then we also learn that it's just a much better, it's not some kind of criminal dark place anymore. So that it's very nice to see. So then Mando reunites with Grief Karga and Kara Dune. And Grief Karga, Karga says, here are some guys that can repair your ship. And then the child gets dropped off in the old cantina, but now it is a schoolhouse with a lots of kids and a protocol droid is teaching them. It's pretty cool to see how they do school in Star Wars. I think that was cool. And so it's funny, all the kids get to interact with the child and there's this one kid that had macarons, and the child used the force to steer the whole thing. He's a bit mischievous in there. So then they dropped him there because where they're going, it's going to be too dangerous for a child. So then Greek Kaga, Carol Dune, the Mandalorian, and the blue fish guy from season one, I forget his name. I, I don't know too many names of the characters here, just the first few main characters, I don't know the background ones too well, but yeah, that guy goes with them to take his speeder to this Imperial base, and they want to wipe out this Imperial base, so they can pretty much have the Imperials entirely off the planet now, and have it be a nice, peaceful planet. So they go to the base, and... Uh, the blue guy's trying to get the some kind of cuddle to open the door, hack open the door, but Mando just flies up there himself. But eventually, the others get in there, and they take down Imperial troops. So, then, we take, they take down some, some more stormtroopers, and go to this reactor, which is a lot like a new hope in the Death Star, so that it's a cool thing to pay homage to the original. And the fish guy had to go to the reactor and disable it. And instead of just being a bit under there, it's lava, because we do know Navarro had some lava in it. So Yes, so he's able to disable that, but that means the base is going to blow soon, so they have to get out of there qu 
whip. And so Mando goes back and okay, so first they go to a hallway where there's some officers and they find this these blue tanks uh with like people in them and they realize that this is not a base, it's a lab. And then they find a they find a hologram of Dr. Porson, which is that doctor with glasses from last season, and they learn that this is some kind of experiment that Moff Gideon wants to do. That leads them to believe that Moff Gideon is still alive because they think he's still dead. So then, so that, and they talk about the child they want. They wanted his blood because he had those high midichlorian levels. That's like how powerful you are and how much force there is within you. So then the Mandalorian goes back to the town because he's worried about the child now. And so then Groove Targa and Kaldun fight off some stormtroopers and find one of those Imperial Troop Transporters that is in Star Wars Rebels, and they get out of there with it and fly over there. But the thing is, they've got lots of Imperial on their scout speeders, speedo bikes on their tail. So they're chased by these speedo bikes coming in from all directions and climbing on top of the transport. So they've got a lot of these speedo bikes to deal with. And then so when they're able to handle them, there's some TIE fighters. But in the end, they can handle all of them. And on, well, they can handle all of them with the help of Mando, who's in the Raider Crest now, with the child who shoots down the remaining TIE fighters. So then after that, we go to the, go to one of those, Imperial light troopers, some, something else that we see from Star Wars Rebels. I'm so glad that they see the so much stuff from Star Wars Rebels because I think Star Wars Rebels, it's a very underrated TV show. I know that it's animated, but it's still pretty good. And so yeah, we've got one of those Imperial light troopers where there's this lieutenant that talks to Moff Gideon. And we see these black troopers or some kind of special troopers, black troopers in these stations. They've got all the black armor and we don't know what they're for, but that is the end of the episode and leaves an exciting cliffhanger. The problem about this episode is I feel like this is really, we've got multiple plots going on with us even. We've got trying to find the child's kind trying to find Ahsoka to find the child's kind, and then we've got the whole Moff Gideon thing. And I kind of feel like this episode is coming a little late in the season because we're establishing that storyline with Moff Gideon in episode four already halfway through the season. So regardless, this works a pretty great episode. It's nice to see Carol do and Grief Kaga again. And that's going to do it for this video, so make sure to subscribe, like, and check out my other channels. This is The Commander, signing out.